You heard of the Cajun Navy. Now look out. Here comes the Hillbilly Air Force. Help is on the way. We just kind of organized a private helicopter army to go in and survey the damage and get extract people and take supplies in and uh, just create landing zones for everybody to have supply routes in and out. But because of the location of it, it's almost impossible. You have to have helicopters to help people. And the government is doing everything they can to shut down. I mean, yesterday I was calling it the Cajun Air Force. Um, because, or not Cajun Air Force, the Hillbilly Air Force. You know, they've had the Cajun, uh, Cajun, uh, Cajun Navy. Uh, this is the Hillbilly Air Force. Um, the guy at the um, Asheville uh, Harley-Davidson place, I met him yesterday. He, that place was wiped out. And, uh, but it still was standing. The bikes are all, you know, he's going to, he just lost everything. Um, but they shoveled the mud out of that place, and he said, I've got a field here. You can use that as a landing place. There were, there were helicopters coming in and, and going out, and the government tried to shut them down and said, you know, uh, this is uh, – the, 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 nobody from the FAA is involved here. Uh, you're going to have to shut this down. And Adam Smith, who's – retired special forces who was running it he was like really yeah you know what you're gonna do you're gonna leave because i have another helicopter landing and one taking off in a few minutes uh they were just pissed you know you're not here if you had all of the assets here if you had called one of the oh i don't know many forts bases and special forces that are sitting on bases in North Carolina, maybe we would shut this down, but you're not sending anything to help people, so get off our land. That was a common theme uh, yesterday. So Glenn Beck came to North Carolina. He witnessed all these things firsthand. These are true American heroes. But a part of absolute disgust, which really bothered me about all of this, is how the government trying to shut it down. I mean, they have the resources right there in Fort Bragg, or I'm sorry, Fort Liberty. They have the ability to bring whatever they need to bear on this. They're not. And so a lot of these guys have come from different states and they're bringing helicopters and they're getting people to safety. They're getting people to resources. They're getting resources to people. This is a phenomenal act of heroism. Because not only are they putting their lives in jeopardy, not only are they risking their own livelihoods and their own lives to help people, they're risking punishment from our own federal government. What is going on here? Thank goodness that these are getting voiced. Thank goodness that guys like Glenn Beck are out there saying, look, we need to wake up to this. And I'm going to continue to push my stuff here also as long as I'm allowed to. But it's important that we bring awareness to the situations that are going on. This government has objectively failed these people. And thank goodness for other citizens stepping up to help. There's still people dying every day there. And there's still hundreds of people unaccounted for. Thank God for these guys. Thank God for this hillbilly Air Force that is getting out there and just taking matters in their own hands and saving lives.